Welcome back. I am Dr. Lee's AI speaking assistant in practical pain management. It is one of the videos that show how much rotation and tilting I need to find a target and approach the needle. The see arm angle videos will help to train your radiation technologist to develop aligning skills. Otherwise, you can train your tech through the knowledge. Please check the cranial tilting and rotation angle in each procedure. I will show you a lumbar interlaminar epidural injection via the L45 midline approach. The L5 spinous process is placed in the screen center. The object of the radiation tech is to provide the optimal image for the procedure and protect your hand from radiation. There is a transitional vertebra in the S1. I will introduce the needle at the L45 segment. So, in this view, I must put my hand in the radiation field and my hands are in danger. Usually, I put the interest area to the lower one-third of the screen. It is an AP view and a three-degree cranial tilting state. My target is L45 interlaminar space, and it looks clear to go. I will puncture the skin targeting the lower border of the left perisagittal interlaminar space and approach toward the midline. It is different from the blind technique. Please turn to the contralateral oblique image. The compass shows a 45 degrees contralateral oblique rotation. The typical view of the contralateral image shows a tangential view of the pedicle, lamina, and interlaminar space. So, please put the image in your memory. If the needle tip reaches the interconnecting line of the inner aspect of the lamina, slow down the movement, focus on the tactile feeling, prepare to stop moving, and connect to the contrast-filled mini-volume extension line. The small vertical leaks of contrast assure you of the posterior epidural space. But, I try not to go into laminar epidural approach in the patient with the previous laminectomy, which has no epidural fat space and is replaced by granulation tissue. There is a high-risk dural puncture at the laminectomy level. I do not go to another side if it is a midline epidural space, but I add another side approach in the perisagittal approach showing only one side contrast spread. The main indication of the interlaminar epidural steroid injection is the first injection approach of the central low back, suggesting discogenic pain. I prefer the perisagittal approach if there is an asymmetric disc protrusion and unilateral radicular pain or back pain. Thank you for watching. See you in the following videos.